Hello everybody, Ian Robs here, welcome to Railway Empire. <laughs> Alright, this is a game I've been eyeing up ever since it came out, basically. It's like a Railway Tycoon type game, and uh, I love it so far, actually. It's really good. Um, I think I'm going to dub this week, uh, from just like Monday being today till Friday, I'm going to make this a train week for whatever reason, because I picked up two games uh, that are both train related. So I picked up this one, which I've been eyeing up, like I said, and I also picked up another game called uh, Trains, A New Era, which is kind of like Train Simulator. So I don't know why, I don't, I'm not sure if there's actually a train week, but I'm going to dub this one a train week. So and this is like a business type simulation type game, and I actually really like these types of games. I don't record them very often because it's not everybody's cup of tea. Have learned the most important oh, should I have? Your position by now. I'll let you get on with your responsibilities. Well, thanks. Stay alert. I will check on your progress from time to time. All right, well, thanks. Thanks uh, for letting us know that. All right, so that's the research we have. And what about, we have a couple people we can hire as well. So this game is basically, like, like I said, management type simulation type game. And one of the really cool things about it is the fact that you actually, there's quite a quite a bit in this game, actually. I was really surprised when I saw some uh, some videos about it. I was pretty pretty impressed actually all right so uh, let's see if I can find a train here uh, Baltimore needs cloth for the clothing you should start building a line from there Baltimore needs cloth yeah uh, didn't I do that isn't that what that's all is right here straight to Baltimore setting up warehouses oh my goodness so much going on the better city supply with goods by rail the faster it grows selects it da -da -da -da. Trains running between cities carry free express goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm still learning how to play this game, but it hasn't changed all that much, to be honest with you. Like, the dynamics of the game haven't changed a crazy amount. I want to get into the city itself. Here we go. So you actually go into the cities. You can buy the specific industries, um, which are quite expensive. This is probably even more expensive. Yeah, $3 million. And then once they grow, you get to some other things here as well. And you can actually buy your own... Uh, things if you like. I don't know what they all do though. Museum attraction. Doesn't seem to... I don't know what the point of having those things are, honestly. And let's see what's going on here. So we're following this train right here. You actually zoom in on the train if you like. It looks pretty good actually. As they say, you can assign special personnel to the train and you can actually ride along in the train and they actually give you a button to hit the train horn. Which I think is fantastic. Any game that has trains in in it should have train horns. Anyways, and you can actually switch sides, go to the back, right, left side, right side. You can go above or show the back of the train too. Anyways, and there's actually lots of like moving parts going on in this game. I think it's great. Uh, trains running between cities. Yes, yes, yes. Express trains carry as quickly as possible. So we need to deliver. 20 loads of loads of clothing to New York. Okay, connect Baltimore and Toledo. Okay, buy 20% shares in a competitor. Oh, we should probably do that soon too. Uh, let's go up here. This is our, that's that. I wanted to go to, which one is it? This one, I think. Quarterly report, competitor. So we own 10% of each of our competitors. Let's go ahead and buy 20% right now. Can we buy another 10%? Oh yeah, we totally can. Perfect. How much can we buy? If you own enough shares in your competitor, you can merge with them and incorporate their roots and buildings with yours. Sweet. Your competitor will then be out of business for good. Darn. Not really. Ooh, we can get this train. What's this been for? So there's a whole tech tree in this well game, done. which is fantastic. You your first block of shares in competitor. Sweet. It actually has a whole section, a whole tech tree, which I think is awesome. I don't think I remember playing like a this type of game. Okay. Every day, huge crowds of people set out to cross the entire country, and the trains will continue to get faster. Noted. Look at me like that. All right. So we also need to. progress. Uh, what's the other thing we need to do? Deliver, connect Baltimore and Toledo. Okay. We could do that too. So there's a whole bunch of, I'm playing through the campaign right now. And uh, there's a whole bunch of things going on here, uh, as you can see. So we have competitors here, the Collins Estate people, 
vegetables. There's cows over there. You can actually see the flow of goods. So if I want to see where these cows are going to, they're going to there. Um, which is actually... Well, I don't know why I haven't extended this out yet here. But you have that going there. And uh, you can see what's going on. So you want to look at some specific things, you can do that. I want to find where the heck Toledo is. I don't know the United States, so I, this is how I end up finding cities. Because I just don't know where they all are. In, in real life, basically. So it makes my life more difficult when I have to kind of try and be like, okay, where's Toledo? There's Norfolk, Jacksonville, uh, Atlanta, Knoxville, Tennessee, Louis Louisville, Kentucky, Indianapolis. Oh, there's Toledo way over there. Ooh, that's a long stretch. Ooh, that's not that bad. I'm getting closer and closer to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, so we could go connect here. So there's Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh, we have a couple lines. So let's go ahead and extend our line. The really cool thing about this is they actually have a planning mode in here. So if I want to, like, you know, I can take a look at that and be like, okay, hmm, do I want to do that? And you can actually move it around if you want to to make it so there's no, uh, no incline at all. But as you can see, my prices, the prices are changing based on where I put this because either I have a bigger bridge or a smaller bridge. Let's say, yeah, we want to buy that because that's a zero grade and we can afford it right now. There you go. And if you can, you can come back to it and actually, uh, you can actually buy it later on if you like to. So this is the planning mode. Uh, we're going Toledo. Okay, yeah. I may not have all the money for this. So Toledo. Uh, maybe they need corn. So let's just say we purchase this right here. And then we take a look at our freight and say, where's the corn going? And we actually do have corn going straight to Pittsburgh. So because of that, we might as well put a train station right here. Small train station. So as you can see, it turns green and lights up saying, hey. You're building a station here. Well, you have to make your own mistakes. I guess so. Okay, good purchase that and let's go ahead and that's gonna come straight to here so what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put a signal right here I want a multi-directional signal I think it would be the right one I still haven't figured out the signals completely just the way they've done it um, it seems a bit strange uh, no that's a multi multi signal mode okay a stop signal. I guess we just want a stop signal in reality. So then we can tell whether the track, the train is here or not. And then let's put another one. And you can actually change the direction too. I should check which one was this direction. Uh, let's change that direction. There. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a train. So let's go ahead and go new train, set up a rail line. So because I just built this station, I want to go from here and I want to go to here. And I want to save that. Now add a locomotive. We have two choices here. I, does it show mixed suitability or... Yeah, so they're both mixed right now. So they're not really that much difference. This is the John Bull, the new one that I just got. So we're going to go ahead and put that one there. And then you can hire an engineer if you'd like, a stoker. I don't know what the star is there for. Is that, I guess that means we have somebody. Okay. And then let's here's our train list right here. So we got all the list of things here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here. Manage this train. This is a very profitable train for us. Let's go ahead and hire an engineer. So what does he do? He costs $40, reduces maintenance requirements for our locomotive by 20%. That is fantastic. Assign him to that train. Now, as you can see, here's my engineer. There's also other people you can put in here. And the cool thing is, is that um, there's a relationships between the staff too, which is nuts when you think about it. So you not only have to manage your company, but you also have to manage like your staff. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, Wyatt, he means stubborn. And this guy's moody. Increase the reliability of a train 20% that reduces the likelihood of breaking down. Let's see if these guys are gonna work together. Oh, okay. So if, they, if there was a bad relationship, you'd be able to say, these guys aren't going to work together. Okay, so do we have a person from here? So now we have a new applicant. He's conscientious. What does this guy do? He prevents Bennett's attacks from attacking turn, causes a 5% increase in freight prices. Let's see. So they will all work together. 
perfect. And we have one more personnel, apparently. We have a saboteur, which costs $100,000. So depending on your type of character you've chosen, so I have, I only had the choice of one particular type of character, so I couldn't choose a uh, the bandit type guy from right from the start. So we're gonna leave that alone. Uh, so we could get this extra train, which is a mixed one, 18 miles an hour. And that one just came up. So let's go ahead and just bid on that. Okay, let's see if anybody else wants to go for that one. So right now we're the current highest bidder, which is good. I don't know what mo what uh, difficulty we're playing in. Probably an easy Excuse normal. Excuse me, but could you keep out of this? You're Ooh. driving the price up. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Okay, we just got that then. Let's say increase the reliability of real was by 12 cent. Actually, that sounds fantastic. And we have 100 points left. Is there anything else interesting? Increases the number. No. So with these older trains. Oh, this is cool. I never I haven't seen this weather effect before. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Holy smokes. I have not seen that before. Alright, we have one more train in the engine set shed here. We have the uh, John Hancock. The grasshopper's one the first one you start off with, and we also got this one. That goes Unfortunately, 18. one of your trains didn't make it. What? What on earth is he doing here? <laughs> All right, so utilization. So you can actually check how much you're using the tracks as well, and say you can look at which ones you're actually using the track. I am speaking in Washington on behalf of some Indian So much going on. Okay, so they granted me the title of Haiwanab, which means the benevolent one. Let's just see. What's this guy doing? He's carrying lots and lots of corn. So let's check out Pittsburgh real quick to see what they use the corn for. They're just for food. Okay, they don't actually make anything here. They do make cloth here, uh, which is a million dollar company. Cannot afford that. But we have uh, cotton coming in from over here. Oh, do I not put a supply train over there? I thought I did. Yeah, I did over there, but we'll put one more just over here so it doesn't... Uh... So with older style trains, um, you basically need to give them sand and stuff like that. And what is this going to say? Because the steep incline, the Wilson Farm Pittsburgh run, runs at a minimum speed along its route, if possible, use a more powerful loco. Okay. I don't think we have anything more. But produces goods that are required to buy an industry. Set up a railway line. I did that already. <laughs> Anyways, there's so much so so much to this game. Um, I'm actually really excited um, <laughs> about this game. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, and uh, I'm very happy. What is this current? Produces salt. 100% by cart. Uh, and that is... What is that? Uh, fruit. And that's vegetables, I guess. And there's beef. Than Toledo, so we need to connect up to Toledo still. So let's go ahead and make some more tracks here. Uh, so let's just check to see if anybody's taking this fruit anywhere. Uh, no, so no one really wants the fruit right now, so there's no point even getting close to that. And what about the beef up here? Uh, okay, so the beef goes up to Toledo. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll come down here, make a little road past this because we may. Our little railway past that because we may want to get something in the future. And then I'll make it come up over here, which is still 1%. And then what we'll do is we'll swing around here and we'll say we'll purchase that. Good. And then we'll put a train station here. Let's say just a we have a small, a regular size train. Because uh, I want two tracks already anyway, so let's go ahead and rotate this. Let's put it to right in the city here. It's really, it's strange. You don't have to demolish anything. They, the city just kind of expands around your train station. I don't understand how, why they do it like that, but they do. And let's go ahead and connect this up here. And you can zoom in here. Uh, let's go for this one right here. Yes. A big dream has become reality. So we just reached that. Now has a direct connection to the Great Lakes. Mm. This achieve a company value of 20 million. Help bring more prosperity to the city. Okay, so because we just did that, we also want to have another small station up over here uh, because this is one of the other reasons why we do this because this is right here. 
Uh, I just need a small station though. There we go. And let's build some tracks. Now the cool thing is they actually snap together really easily. Gonna have to wait a little bit here. Make some more money. Train personnel, office personnel available. We have a saboteur and an inventor. Hmm, that's interesting. And we have some more research. So whether the, whether the way the research works is you gain new research, uh, new research points, I should say, every month. So I get forty per month right now. So that's the way it works. And then as you get more, you can you know unlock certain things here. So you can get a new train. Uh, you can get other styles of trains. So I don't know. I'm not sure the difference between these uh, the top upper half and the lower half. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a a big difference. Oh, company construction. Oh, okay. Railroad enthusiasts. As a result, increased public interest in the railroads. The number of passengers is growing. Sure, let's go for that. Sweet. So let's just see what happens here because we just did that. We can make some more money. So let's go ahead and check out some of our routes here. See how this guy's doing. So this is where I like. This is all these types of games are like micromanaging type games. You know, pay attention to what's going on, seeing what's profitable, what's not profitable. So here's all the lines I have set up right now, and they're not super uber profitable at the moment, but that's okay. All right, so there's that. It's not too bad. Taking a little bit of corn. That's the logging one. He's taking some logs, or lumber, I should say, and a passenger train. And the cool thing is, actually, as you get further along, you can get... Uh, uh, do we have any... No, so as you can see, you can add these specific cars, if you'd like. Engineer, conscientious, he reduces maintenance. Okay, we'll go for that one, sure. Jacob Lee. Okay. Security guard. Oh, is this guy already assigned to a train? Yeah. Pittsburgh to Baltimore. That's strange. I guess you can hire. <laughs> it's that's a strange way they have it, the way they have it listed. Baltimore to Washington's doing really well too. Just go, it just goes back and forth. That's all this one does. Okay, so there's actually also a whole tips and tricks section in here. So let's say I want to look at, no, not city buildings. Here we go. As soon as research, uh, as soon as research uh, specific buildings can be built there, each city has a specific impact in the city. Okay, cool. So, excellent. That's the innovation points. Banking activities, company, mergers, stocks, and bonds. In total, you can borrow money 10% of the value of your company. Okay, cool. So... That's where they talk about that, the signals. And they also give you little videos of this too. And they can show you how they use the signals as well. Because not everyone's not everyone's used to using the signals. I have always have to double check to see how they're being used. So. That was fifty six thousand dollars that this person just made. That's awesome. Let's see what this train's gonna do here. How much is that gonna make? All that lumber. 19,000? Not too bad, not too bad. So, these are the tasks we're trying to complete. So, send you to deliver 20 loads of clothing to New York. Uh, so, let's this is to New York here. So, I think we might need to make a dedicated line. I think I need to do, though. I'm pretty sure I do have a dedicated line from... Oh, maybe I don't, actually. Maybe I don't. So, let's go set up a rail line. Let's go from because they produce clothes. Let's go just from Baltimore to, no, not there, not there, just to New York. And uh, that's good. Add a locomotive. So we have these three choices here. And as I mentioned, they're all for different things. So you can see what, the, what their speeds are. Uh, you can look at Everything. Tractor power, 26. So you're better off going with this one, really. Old Ironside success. Baldwin's test locomotive. 
Okay, what's happened here? So this guy is waiting for the track clearance. Okay. Let's go ahead and center on this guy here. So I must have put it in an awkward position now. Which always happens. So there's Baltimore. I really need to figure out how oh, I should do these lines. Select a track view. One of your trains isn't doing what it should be doing. Signals that switches. So they actually, that's it. And they actually give you tips and tricks as you go along. So like, hey, we notice you have some problems right here. And they give you suggestions and stuff, which is kind of cool, actually. So. All right. Looks like they're okay. That's a lot of clothing going there, which is good. What we want to see. So I have two, like a double track here. So what I might have to do here is... Uh, we have that. So I have two trains going there. So let's make a little a little side track here. Uh, let's see. Here looks flat-ish. No, maybe up here a bit more. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's go from here. And then make a little siding up here. And then back connect. And as you can see, it shows the incline, and then it, this hasn't built it yet, which is really neat. I like this is the one of the factors I really like about this game. It hasn't built it yet, but hey, we can pay for it now and build it. Uh, let's make some signals here. So I want this. I want uh, that to be that way, and I want this one to be. Uh, can I remove that? Control. There, so that encourages them to go a specific direction. So, uh, so let's go ahead and do this. And I want to remove the signal. That, that. Okay. Now let's. There we go. So now I only choose a specific direction to go in this context. Perfect. Let's see if that helps at all. Now I could just double up the whole track too. Uh, and that's a possibility. And that's what I'll probably end up doing a lot of times. I'll have double tracks all over the place. On busy routes at least. Because then they can just do their own thing. Which one's this? Oh, this guy. And I love this feature. Just ride along. Yes, I love trains. This is why I pick up this game and trains a new era all at the same time. Okay, so they're doing that now. So my New York station's over here. Oh, we have furniture. It angers me that to this day, nobody has erected a memorial to our founding father, George Washington. Mm. I hope that the disputes about it will be over someday, and I'll be the first to make a donation towards it. Cool, so we have this 1834, so we need to work on this right here. And this, 1845. So we got our 10 years to go. But this one we have two years, so. 1838. Ah, we're close. All right, so hopefully that brings up that task for the clothing. Yeah, yeah, we're, that just boosted that quite a bit. Good. That's what we're looking for. And this guy makes furniture, so I don't know where the furniture is going, but it's not going anywhere. <laughs> No one wants the furniture yet. <laughs> I was like, well, let's just double check this. Okay, sweet. Anyways, I'm going to stop it there for now because I'll just keep going on and on and on. But uh, I do like this game quite a bit. And um, it's on Steam right now. It's a bit of a pricier game, so like 56 bucks Canadian. But uh, it's a very enjoyable game. If you like Railway Tycoon or Transport Tycoon, definitely worth it. It's like the, some people consider it the uh, successor to those games. And some people are like, you know, so it depends on your point of view and how you like to play games and whatnot. But uh, as I mentioned before, this is going to be a train week for me. I'm going to do uh, this game. I'm going to play a little bit of Tane as well. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, my name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more train action. Catch you guys later.